Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Lamely Outdoors Academy, and as always, thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, today we are going to talk all about the new ATF director nominee and how we're going to stop it because we have the power to do so and put a lot of pressure and we can make a difference. And the biggest challenge that I can give to you right now is it's easy to say that we're screwed and we're down the road. It's difficult to take action in the face of adversity. That is what we have been doing together, you and I, on this channel for three to four months. We're doing this, guys, and together we're going to make it happen. And the way that we're going to make it happen is we're going to observe what has happened in the past. They put forward a director nomination and it failed. Do you guys even know that? Neera Tandon. That's the name. Office of Management and Budget. Biden's first nominee got shut down and she withdrew her nomination because she didn't have the votes. This is doable. This was a director level position, the exact same as the director level of the ATF, which is what we are going to get our put our damnedest effort into preventing from happening. And worst case scenario, we're going to try our damnedest until we run out of options. And even still, we're going to keep going. Take it to the back. All right. So we're going to look at where they've been, what they require, and how we can action. Everything's going to be in the description box below. And guys, we've got this. We just got to stay focused. And we, we are going to be men and women of courage, and we're going to make this difference. Give me a comment below if you agree. And if not, let's get going. All right. So near attending, like I was saying, was denied. Okay. So here's a quote, and everything's linked in the description box below. Tandon's nomination was in doubt after three senators, Joe Manchin, a Democrat from West Virginia, and Mitt Romney, Republican of Utah, and Maine Republican Susan Collins, said they would vote against her because of her history criticizing lawmakers on both sides of the political aisle. That's one Democrat who's pro-gun, Joe Manchin, and two rhinos, Susan Collins and Romney. Those are both rhinos, okay? Now, what do they actually need here? And this is important. They actually need 50 votes in the Senate, okay? Check out this quote. Traditionally, this required support from at least 60 of the 100 senators. In 2013, however, Democrats circumvented the rules, shocking, with the nuclear option to require only a simple majority of those voting, 51 in most cases. The only exception, a nomination to the Supreme Court. The same simple majority is needed to confirm a nomination. In the case of a tie, the vice president casts the deciding vote. So what that means is the director of the ATF has to get a minimum of 50 votes in the Senate to be confirmed as the director of the ATF. Now, the things that are going to be problematic here for this individual is he is from Giffords.org, every town USA. He is high level, far left gun control. Okay, way crazy left. You've got Joe Manchin, who is a very pro-gun state Democratic senator. He, so far, he's held on the filibuster. So far, he's held on gun control bills. He, so far, he's shown very good promise. Kristen Sinema from Arizona, incredibly strong, uh, excuse me, Second Amendment state. She's got potential there. They've got to get both of those individuals, and they have to get both independents who caucus with the Democrats. I I can't say that they're not going to get it, but the road is a very narrow one. And here's where we can actually make an impact, guys. This is huge. Below, I've got a link for the NRA. The NRA actually has a locator for your address. You can contact, you put your information in there, it tells you which senator to contact. This is crucial, guys, because we can do this. We've been preparing for three to four months on observing what they're doing, seeing where they're going, and we know now. Now it's time to take action and move forward and take this fight to them. Battlefield of Ideas. So now, it's in the description box below. The NRA links gives you the entire article all about the ATF director. It also gives you the way to contact your senator for free. It's easy. We need to do this, guys, because the more pressure and the more awareness that the senators have that we're watching them, the more they will be a little more picky about voting for anti-Second Amendment people because we're on them. I know we are up against the wall, but we are making an impact, guys. We're doing great. I'm mean, I'm here for this. If you are, leave a comment field below. Leave a comment in the field below. I want to help you guys with this. I want to be part of it. I know you do too. And until tomorrow, when I have another update for you, I'm Braden. See you later.